Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Um, in today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to create uh, my square brush that I use in most of my, uh, you know, most of my paintings. I've had a lot of people request it, and while I've put it up for download uh, previously, I know that it doesn't work for people with, um, I guess, older version of Photoshop. So anything older than CX6, CS6, is <laughs> not going to work. So. Um, that's not quite useful, <laughs> I would imagine. So here I'm going to show you guys how to create it, but, uh, you know, create it yourself so that you can make it work for any kind of version of Photoshop you have. And you'll see that it's really, really simple. So that's going to be a really short video, uh, about, about a little bit under four minutes. And, uh, this is, you know, beginner stuff, but, uh, yeah, here we go. So we start with a... A black square anything that is black in this case is going to be the actual brush everything that is white is going to be transparency um, you probably want uh, you know a square sort of file for this so I'll, I'll recrop mine a little bit later but for now we're just gonna have uh, this black square and then rough out the edges so that it's not it's not all nice and even we want this to be a little bit of you know, to, to give it a little bit of texture uh, so that the brush stroke is a little bit more interesting so and then the inside you can just take a, a round brush and one of the default Photoshop brush and add some uh, add some white in there or depending erase if you had it on the layer um, and yet yeah, once you, once we have that and it looks somewhat decent you know uh, texture square we're going to resize the the, f the the file and then we go to edit and then define brush preset and this is going to save uh, our new brush. We'll just name it whatever. And this is going to be the brush without any uh, any sort of settings. So it's going to be all the default settings. And you'll see right now what it looks like. Uh, it's not, <laughs> it doesn't look too great right now. Uh, but we're going to have to tweak the settings a little bit and to make it look all nice. So if we just, you know, one click, this is what it looks like. This is the brush. And once we do the brush stroke, that's what it looks like. So obviously not the desirable result. And all we're going to do is go, we have two options to turn on, basically. Um, but before we do that, we're just going to adjust the spacing to 15%. Uh, so, you know, the, the lower the spacing is, the kind of the more demanding it is on your computer. So 15 is a good, is a good number, I've found. Other than that, we're going to go to Shape Dynamics, uh, make sure the di minimum diameter is only 80%. And then the other one is Transfer, and we're going to leave that to default basically all set to pen pressure and uh, this should be exactly what we want and this should be exactly the brush I use uh, you know just depending on the, the the initial square that you've painted might vary very very slightly but uh, overall should be 99 percent point nine 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 there so yeah uh, <laughs> this is uh, like I told you guys it's really easy it's really simple it's really quick to do also so, you know, don't be scared and sort of uh, improvise if you want to try different things. It's very, very simple uh, to create a new brush in Photoshop. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye-bye.